Hey everybody, a little windy now. Wind's picked up some from earlier. I um, wanted to talk about something here briefly. Um, the big thing right now, well, last couple of years, is shortening the barrels of rifles. So here's a little something I want to, I want to explain to people. I've got two rifles here, both identical manufacturer, basically identical rifles other than the stocks. Um, this one has adjustable uh, comb height and all that. But identical scopes, identical mounts, uh, identical barrels, other than this rifle is a 20 inch barrel. This rifle features a 24 inch barrel. And the big thing here in the last few years is cutting the barrels off rifles, shortening them up, you know, make them a little more handy, whatever. Or if someone wants to put a suppressor on it, you know, they got a little more space out here. So the rifle's not as long. And, uh, the, the problem with that, I say problem, it's not necessarily a problem, but the indicator that most people just completely whiff on is all cartridges have a barrel length that's optimum for that projectile to do what it needs to do, to do what it's uh, intended to do as far as velocity, distance, bl ballistics. So with this, with this, uh, these two rifles are both um, uh, seven PRCs. Here's the cartridge. It's 180 grain Hornady ELD, ELD match. Um, both these rifles, very capable. Um, right now, this rifle, and I've shot limited. I'm box and a half of shells total. This rifle is shooting uh, right at a half inch MOA. I've, uh, shoots great, obviously. And and I know it's not broke in. There's some things going to change. Probably have to adjust velocity later. You know, um, as, as it breaks in more, gets a couple more boxes of shells to it. This rifle, uh, almost the same thing. It's probably shooting maybe three quarter MOA, not hard as tight. Of course, that that can all change too. You know, that could be me, obviously. But both rifles shoot very well. But the point I want to make here is you've got these rifles that are basically identical, other than barrel length, and the velocity of this rifle. It's four inch longer barrel is shooting a hundred, I think, in almost 120 feet per second faster. Same cartridges out of the same box is this rifle with, with a 20 inch barrel. So that four inches is costing you 30 feet per second per inch. That's basically what you can say. And, and again, that's fine if that's what you want. But understand, it goes back to this. Here's what I tell people they'll say, I've got a 300 wind mag and I cut the barrel down, had it cut down, threaded, and I'm going to cut it down to 20 inches. Well, the optimum length for a 300 wind mag, believe it or not, is 27 and a half inch. That doesn't mean that factory make them, but a lot of factory guns are 26 inch. So they'll cut it back to a 20 inch barrel. Well, that velocity, that, that's the same bullet as a 308 will shoot. We all know what a 308 Winchester is. It's the same, it's the same bullet, the same projectiles being launched. Well, when you start taking a 300 wind mag and cutting the barrel down, the problem with that is, is that you lose that velocity and you essentially have a really hard kicking 308. Because that same 30 caliber projectile, you know, 165, 180 grain bullet has slowed down so much that it's, again, essentially the same bullet as someone who's going to shoot out of a 22 or 24 inch barrel 308. Going to get the same thing. So, Again, to each their own. Just wanted to show people that. Um, anyway, uh, if that makes sense to you, maybe don't cut your barrel off. There's a reason there's optimum lengths to a cartridge. that It has time, ample time to burn the powder charge as it combusts and get you know the bullet make its rotation out of the twist to get its maximum before leaving the muzzle. So anyway, just something to keep in mind before you decide to chuck your gun up in the vise and have somebody cut the barrel off of it and shorten it up all right everybody have a good day i'm going to get back and uh, shoot this one a few more times see you